Sorry I've been gone for a while, while, but things have been crazy at work and at home. I just haven't had time to put videos up. Now I have some time today, and like I promised, it's going to be the NFC North training camp preview. And I'm going to start with the Chicago Bears, and their biggest position battle is in the defensive backfield. I can only name one very likely starter, Quinton Demps, the guy they got from Houston. And everybody else, I'm not sure. Kyle Fuller's been a first-round disappointment. They signed Luke Amara. They, you have Jonathan Banks there. And you have a bunch of other guys whose names I'm now forgetting. So, really, they have a, they're going to have a wide-open competition in the defensive backfield because their defensive backfield was one of the worst last year, and they really have to improve on that. And that's why I really thought they were going to go in the defensive backfield in the first round. I was shocked by the first-round pick. And on a related note, what is going to happen at that quarterback position? All right. It's very likely that Glennon's going to be the starter to start the year. But what's going to happen throughout the year? You know, are they going to try to get Mitchell Trubisky in games? Or are they just going to have Glennon start the whole year? What is going to happen at that quarterback position? I don't know. I don't even think the Bears know. This is just crazy. Nobody knows what the Bears are up to. Next up is the Detroit Lions, and their biggest battle is their left tackle position. All right, Taylor Decker was their first-round pick last year, and right now he's the leader for that job. But he's battling with two other linemen, and really, this is going to be tough because without left tackle, this line is not going to go anywhere. They already have solid pieces, but they have got to find a solid left tackle to protect Stafford. All right, we all know how important a left tackle is, so... Detroit needs to find a solid left tackle after they lost Riley Reef. And their biggest question is, what is this team going to look like this year? All right, last year they made the playoffs, but they've been a little up and down. It's like one year they're in the playoffs, next year they're struggling. So how is this team going to look this year after making the playoffs again? Next up is the Green Bay Packers, who have a big question mark at the corner position. They lost Sam Shields this offseason. Last offseason, it was Casey Hayward. Now you have a lot of young guys fighting for this for these starting jobs. And they do have some options. All right, you have Quentin Rollins and Demarius Randall from a few drafts ago. You have Kevin King and Josh Jones from this draft. And then you signed Devon House. So they do have options. They just have to find solid players for the secondary because... Right now, it looks like the weakest part of the Packers. And their biggest question mark is, is this team talented enough to get back to the Super Bowl? Alright, we know they have a lot of stars on their team, but they also have plenty of questions at key positions. Corner, which I just talked about, and the running back position. They were so thin at running back last year, they had to use Ty Montgomery, who was a wide receiver, as a running back. You don't see that a lot. A team that's so thin, they had to take somebody from another position and put them at that position okay Green Bay we know they're talented we know they got Rodgers we know they have we know they have Clay Matthews there's just too many questions at other key positions so really I don't know what's gonna happen with the Packers this year and finally Minnesota Vikings who are gonna have two guys battling for that weak side linebacker spot after Chad Green when he retired all right, that linebacking core is already solid with Anthony Barr and Eric Kendricks. And they just have to find solid work at the weak side linebacker position. And it's going to be one of the best in the league. Let's be honest. It's already solid. But with solid work at the weak side linebacker, it's going to be one of the best. All right. He suffered that horrific knee injury right before the season last year. People thought it was going to end his career. And he's already thrown again. So when is he going to be back in pads in a game? Is it going to be this year or is he going to take another year off? We'll see. All right, this is a guy Minnesota took in the first round. They wanted to be the franchise. He was having a great offseason until that injury happened. And you're just hoping that you will get to see him in an NFL game again. And it looks like we will. But when? Is it going to be this year? We don't know. Alright, thank you guys for watching this video, and the next 
divisions that I'm doing are the South divisions, so it's going to be AFC and NFC in that order again. I'll see you guys next time.